Lyle, big game on Saturday, of course, because of the football, but on the other side of it, it's a game that uh, you want to be raising even more awareness for, for the cause that you're raising it for. Yeah, this is this is the one that we, we had earmarked for, for being pink day, let's call it. Um, and, I, I mean, before we obviously get to that, I want to say thank you to, to everybody at the football club and everybody involved in the, the wider community as well because the reception of it has been has been brilliant and I've, I've spoken to some really good people about, I suppose, their families and, and the times that they've had to uh, deal with with cancer within their, their own little units. So I thank everybody for, for participating. It means the world to me. Um, and yeah, let's have a, a big pink turnout on Saturday, and, and uh, it'll be it'll be great to see and great to send everybody home with with three points. Yeah, and you're hearing more and more about people who, who either get cancer themselves or are touched by it with their loved ones and family getting it as well. Was that the the premise of you starting off the campaign a few years ago that you do each month? Yeah, it was it was a selfish reasons why I started it. Uh, it was my own family and my own story, and. I kind of didn't think it would become what it has become over the years and there's so many people who have participated and, and got pink wigs on. You see you see Matt had his pink wig on uh, last Saturday and, and, and Tuesday night as well. And It's just great to see everybody getting involved in something that to me was personal and I suppose in a way it's quite sad because everybody's been touched by this. and. That's what we're trying to kind of get away from. And if, if we can get the survival rates up and if we can get the, the, the cancer rates down, then I think we'd all be happy and we'd all live a, a happier life, a longer life with the people that we love. Yeah, and that, that awareness that you're after as well, there's also a, a second strain of it, that awareness you want to move on to people donating and helping cancer research because they are basically the, 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 the company and the, the organisation that, that do all that research into how we can lower those uh, levels. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they've been brilliant cancer research um, with me and they've really been re really been helpful and they've been supportive and, and they've been thankful as well for, for the support that, that I've given them and Yes, it's about the donations as well, but it's about the conversation because, like I said before, we're, we're in a really awkward economic situation at the moment where I can't stand there and say, give me your money, because people are, people are generally struggling to, to keep the heating on, to put food on the table. So I do understand where we are economically, and at the same time, I, yeah, I'm trying to raise raise money and raise awareness for cancer research, but if it's just a conversation and if it's just the whole football club being involved in it, which they have to this point, then I, I can be really proud of that, and I'm really proud of our fan base uh, for doing that. So, yes, the donations are really important to Cancer Research UK, and the conversation is equally as important. It's, it's just a really tough time for a lot of people at the moment and I'm not the kind of person that will say oh, I don't worry about putting food on the table just give me your money because it's not about that it's it's about listening and hearing stories and and taking on people's personal journeys and people who have been through this people who have lost loved ones husbands wives aunts uncles kids even um, to this this horrible disease and if, if we can start that conversation then that's a, that's a bonus.